The federal government of Nigeria has just announced the 1,000 Naira levy to be paid by car owners as proof of ownership every year. The chief collector has just walked in. would like to have a quick chat with him. Mr. Iriti? Yes. Mr. Iriti? Uh, it's okay. So, yeah. It's just this uh, proof of ownership levy. It's just 1,000. It's not a lot. Nigeria complained too much. It's just 1,000 per year. It's not even per month. Yo. It's per year. So it's not in big D. Okay. It happened in other country. Other country they collect levy, they give half it okay. But it's just one thousand. Okay. What what are the yeah. incentives then? Okay. Incentives. I don't understand. Okay. What do motorists get in return for this one thousand? Okay. Okay. Oh, ah, ah, it's very simple. We give receipts. Yeah. It's transparent government. It's transparent. We give him. We give receipts. Because we don't say, okay, thank you, bye. No, we'll give you a receipt anywhere you go in the world. You have proof that you paid the money. You are a good citizen of Nigeria. Okay, yeah. all right. Don't okay. answer your question. I'm not I, I don't yeah. answer it. We are well by me, sir. So, God, well, don't show it on the video. How do you expect? How do you want well, to? I was to expecting you to, to, how to you say. Want, what did you want to do? I was expecting you to say what incentive. I don't know how to explain ah, incentive okay. really. Ah, but um, okay. what, what now? Presenter, no, what by me, sir? I had to play that video when I saw it this morning. I laughed so hard. All right, so thanks for staying with us now. <clears throat> the Permanent Secretary, Lagos State Ministry of Transportation, Abdul Hafiz uh, Toriola, said uh, or stated that the proof of ownership certificate would help vehicle owners and the government um, assure the integrity of all vehicles registered on the National Vehicle and Identification Scheme database and track car theft and recovery of stolen vehicles. Now, according to him, Lagos State will commence the collection of this fee uh, for the proof of um, ownership certificate from motorists beginning in July, um, that's this month, 2023, based on National Bureau of Statistics. Um, however, their data, Nigeria has about 11.7, or it had 11.7, six million vehicles in q2 of 2018 with a car per population ratio estimated at 0 0.06 multiple reports indicate that approximately 400,000 vehicles are imported into nigeria annually with an approximation of 12 million vehicles in the country and the optimistic assumption that everyone fully uh, complies the duty uh, dutifully and dutifully pays rather the required 1,000 Naira to the federal government, this will potentially result in an estimated gross receipt of 12 billion Naira from the implemented tax. Now, is this tax necessary and where would the revenue generated from the annual vehicle ownership verification fee go to? Now, please, let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 a zero three eight four six six three. You can also tweet at us at Way Show Africa One with the hashtag Way Show. Okay, fifteen point five zero seven million registered vehicles in West Africa, and um, Nigeria accounts for about eleven point eight six nine eight hundred thousand vehicles, or seventy five percent of that amount. Um, that's um, according to a report. The commencement of the annual collection levy. Uh, proof of ownership certificate of for vehicles registered within Lagos. Um, it says it takes effect from the 1st of July. So most Nigerians have criticized this levy, viewing it as an additional burden and um, form of exploitation by the government. Currently, what do we even pay for vehicle registration in Nigeria? In Nigeria? <coughs> hmm. uh, I can't even, because I've not done my... <laughs> My registration myself so maybe you guys at the back end can help me pull out that that number right um, because um, the fiscal policy partner and Africa tax leader PwC mr. Taiwo Yedele has described the introduction of this renewal of proof of ownership um, for cars as retrogressive ill-conceived and poorly designed right it's like taking us backwards yeah. He said he was reacting to the policy via Twitter post. He emphasized that the recently introduced annual revenue, uh, renewal of um, proof. So you're going to be renewing it annually, mm. right? Renewal of proof of ownership for cars should not be implemented because it will set a bad precedence for more retrogressive taxes. According to him, apart from the payments, which seems to be solely for revenue generation 
are more for non-state actors than for government, it is illogical for people to have to prove annually that they own a vehicle for which they already have a certificate of proof of ownership issued by that same government. Why do I need to come back to you to say, Namiste get the cow? <laughs> because, like, I don't understand the policies. Why is my voice going up? <laughs> I don't understand the policies that, you know... Uh, so I get the fact that we are trying to drive revenue and generate um, ways to make income and all of that. Yeah. But um, I think this one was not just thought through because... When you register your car, that's why I said, I want to know how much. I know that there's a total package yeah. that I get to register my car, but I don't know the exact amount that so proof of own, it, ownership costs, easy. right? But, you know, when you do your first registration, you have a permanent certificate. That's that proof of ownership. You have it. Proof of ownership used to be free. Hmm? It used to be Before free. Before this 1,000, yes. Oh, really? Yeah. You know, you know because we it pay... It just comes with the... We the pay a total top. package, so I don't really know how much... It used to be yeah. free. But now so what are your thoughts on this? Let's let's co let's go like, back. It's this. just like you said. It's quite interesting that you'll be made to prove that you're the owner of a vehicle every single year after you have paid, um, first of all, a, a package uh, sum or a lump sum. Mm. You paid a lump sum for like vehicle registration proof. You know the whole documentation proving that okay. I either bought this car brand new or I bought this car off someone else and there is I feel like where this will come in or where this should come in is if within the course of a year I transferred ownership to you do you understand then you have to prove that no, but then, then uh, NJ, you then go and do change of ownership I documentation. Know, I know. You it, don't it, really it, need it, to do... I'm saying that it will make better sense to me if you tell me that it's at that point no, that so someone even, has to even... Pay. Yeah, so when you even do that change of ownership documentation, you in my pay. head, no, in my head, when you are changing the ownership, the, uh, the document name and all of that, it, it will come with a new um, uh, um, um, certificate that shows the new owner's name. Yes. Do you understand? That's what I'm saying, that if the charge mm. were, was to come at that point, then it will make better sense to me that you're actually changing the ownership of the vehicle. So proving that that new person, or proving that the whole process of changing from my me being the owner to you being the owner, transfer of ownership, if the charge were to come there, I would understand it because the ownership is being changed. Because it's already a charge. I mean. So they said under the new regime, Nigerians yeah. will now pay 18750 That's the lump sum. For the standard private and commercial number plates against the old rate of 12500 So they have, because it's a lump sum. It comes with your number plate. It comes with your documentation yeah. and all of that, right? So if I want to change my ownership, NG, there's already a fee. That comes with it. With that. So it's no longer NJ that is on the paper. It is now over that is on the document. So that is already a, an exchange. Because before I can do that, I have to pay a, a lump sum of money to the, to the government. Right? So, I mean, for me, I feel like very soon they will resume, what's it called now? Um, tolls. Oh. They will resume tolls. You're already paying your personal income taxes. You are paying a lot of tariff on fuel or pri um, cost for fuel. You're paying a very high tariff on electricity, right? I mean, if you're not doing ed electricity, you're also alternating those um, power source for probably generators and you get fuel and all of that. Food cost of living is quite high. So, I mean, for the government, I think that you have to be a lot more creative. But let me come to you, Jennifer, before I come back. To my thoughts because i just feel like this is just ill thought so following what um mr Oyedele said um i mean he had talked about how this cost is becoming too much for nigerians right especially now that um subsidy has been removed yeah. fuel prices have gone up food prices are skyrocketing transportation is very expensive so it's like asking the citizens to pay extra money but the Permanent Secretary of Lagos State Ministry of Transportation, according to him, kind of like rationalized this new um, law that is about to take place, or that has already even started taking place. So Mr. Abdul Hafiz said that the procedure is aimed at ensuring real-time tracking 
and maintaining the integrity of vehicle records on the National Vehicle and Identification Scheme database. He also said that the renewal process is part of the government's commitment to keeping accurate and up-to-date records of vehicle ownership, which is crucial for effective um, traffic management, law enforcement, and public safety. So everything that he's just saying is that there's a reason and a legit reason for why they are charging us this particular amount is just for record purpose. We already that. pay an annual vehicle registration, um, vehicle renewal, um, document, document, yes, vehicle license every year. Yeah. Do you understand? So if you really want to keep track of the vehicles that are on your road, Huh? There is that document. Do you know that if you like, don't pay from now to 2027. The day you want to pay in 2028, it will accumulate or because it is an automated payment structure. Yeah. It will accumulate all your bills and give you all the bills you pay it. It's already standard in the system. Do you understand? That I have to prove to you that I own a car that I already own. Does it make sense to me? It doesn't make any sense to me. Now, where I think me is the big question that I want to ask the government, right? Where will this money go to? Because clearly this is an extra channel for income generation, right? So we know that a thousand naira is not a joke. Let's even take the statistics that was given that the projections are about 12 billion naira. It's not a joke. So where would that, what would that money you know, what would it be used for? And I think it should be more than that. Do you understand? I, I think it should be because one household can have like 10, 15 vehicles, right? Some people that do run transport services and all of that, they already pay. And these are, these are double taxations yeah. because these people already have very, very strong levies that they are paying. If you're driving commercial vehicles or even motorcycles or whatever, there are charges that you are paying. You don't, you, you keep also, I mean, you, you should not also forget these agueros that we have on our roads yeah. that collect daily income from this, uh, what's it called, commercial bus drivers, right? You're going on the road. So it's like for every single time you turn, left, right, and center, for a, a, an income that is so slim. Why all of these things is bothering me is because it goes back to the consumers. Now, all of us go so far around. Do you understand? We will all suffer this because it will go back to food. It will go back to, what's it called, power. It will go back to every single thing. You know? So if the government is sincere enough to tell me that XYZ number of um, billions or millions will be generated from this money and they will channel that money to XYZ projects, right? Then we'll have, we can now sit down probably to have a conversation. Do you understand? To say, okay, yes, maybe we should follow through. Your roads are terrible. Very, very horrible roads. Like, literally, you would drive on our roads in Nigeria and you would have body aches. Right? You have headaches. I get sick every single time I go to visit my children in Oshun State. I get sick every single time. But I don't have a choice. I have to go. Your roads are terrible. That is a wear and tear on my vehicle. I know how much, it's one of my vehicles that has been packed for a month. I know how much I'm spending to try to fix that car back to shape. Because of what? Bad roads. I was saying to someone that, before you tell me that I should, see, Nigerians don't even mind paying all these levies. If you, if you even tell us to come and pay 1,000 naira for fuel, we also don't mind to do that. But you see, for you to do that, you have to put certain infrastructures and amenities in place. What use is it that I will spend so much money, right? And I will end up burning all that money on a standstill uh, gridlock. Like you are literally, genuinely agitating my spirit. Because now, a lot of people are angry. You know? You see a lot of angry drivers on the road. Now you now come back again and say, you know what? This car that you own, you have to pay me 1,000 naira every day. There are banks, I don't know whether banks still do that. They have poor cars. They can have a fleet of 50 cars in their, in their, in their line. Yeah. Do you understand? And they will be paying 1,000 1, naira every year. For what? So until the federal government is clear on telling us exactly what this vehicle, tracking of which vehicle. If I when they say they wanted to track vehicles, 
stolen vehicle. How? Because uh, how? When it comes to where we even have from. sophisticated um, car trackers that some yeah. some companies like Ray Track and all of that they have created those sophisticated car trackers. Have they been able to track vehicle? You know, eh? when I saw that part, I, it, it begs the question. Like, so are we paying the one thousand naira for the tracking? How would the tracking work? How do you intend to see? They're already that? even right. when it comes you to even have tracking. Data. You already have like MTN and the rest of them data. that have been helping over the time to even track. You know, maybe like mobile phones track card. Tra then uh, when you have the SIM card in in the tracking devices, so the networks have been helping with that. So I, I'm I'm curious to see how this one thousand can be proven that it it also assists in car tracking. Like you know, I I just feel like. Our leaders just sometimes... You run out of ideas. This is it. I just feel like sometimes they just think that we're stupid. I think that's the word. Because some of the excuses you hear sometimes, you actually ask yourself, you're, a, you're an elderly man. Did you really, really put this thing into thought before you said it to 200 million people live on TV? How do you feel when your children see this kind of lack of knowledge and wisdom? Just being, like, you're not even putting it to good use. Like, come out and give information. I feel like our leaders don't inform. They just come and tell you a this whole is what lot of do. crap. Ooh, it's it's, no, but it's true. They just come out and give you a whole lot of baseless information. And then sometimes, I just look at some of the information and I'm like, these guys must really feel that we're just walking around, they've called us lazy Nigerian youths already, so they just feel like everyone is walking around senseless. Mm. I, think it's because, I think it's because um, typically Nigerians, when things like this come out, we take it sitting down, right? We complain for, what, two days, three days, and everyone just complains, like, you just fall in line and go with it. We move on. Yeah, it's like, oh, they've said this one again, and, 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 and it's actually quite alarming that they are bringing something like this up. I mean, you just remove subsidy, right? People have been complaining about the cost of well, People have been complaining about the high cost of transportation. And now this. So doing something like this also means that for people who will be using public transportation, transport might increase. Huh. So bus drivers are going to tell you, okay, you know what, from this location to this location, you're not going to be paying 200 anymore. You have to start paying 300. Mm. And that's like a lot on people's income. And then when you think about it's the already women, slim. Yeah. So the people about the women who are already spending Spencer. a lot of money on transporting their goods, feeding their family, and then buying food, it's like, oh, you're adding extra. It might seem like nothing to some people, but over time, it's actually a lot. The ripple effect on everyone on every citizen is 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 hmm. i don't know it's, and the it's reason why they're selling this is because we accept it yeah, yeah. that's what you're saying that we it. sit we sit down yeah. and i'll speak to that but let's quickly go on a break let's come back when they come back from the break we'll continue the conversation stay with us Alright, thanks for staying with us now. If you just tuned in, we're discussing the, uh, what's it called, proof of ownership, the annual vehicle ownership verification fee that um, has just been introduced by the federal government. Now you can join the conversation, send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081 803 You can also tweet at us at Wayshow Africa, one of the hashtag Wayshow. Alright, so um, you know what Jennifer spoke to uh, before spoke on rather before we went on a break when you talked about how Nigerians are actually they know that Nigerians will always sit still and take everything that I mean the government brings we don't really I just I was just laughing because um, just over the weekend I don't know if you've been following the incidents that has been happening in France you know I remember that um, when I was in France there was, I think, the price of milk had gone up, and by one very tiny fee, right? I mean, the whole train workers, all of them, they just... Any little thing that happens in France is strike. They shut down the train, shut down this, shut down that, you know? So this particular one that has happened now about a 17-year-old boy that was killed and all of that, look at the way they are burning down things, like bringing down Business. industries, right? And all of that. So, um... I say to anybody that cares to listen, Nigerians are the most 
easiest people to govern. We do not have problem. Like Nigerians are so easy to govern. All you need to do, right, as a person is just put in the right things. Nigerians will not bother you. We won't ask for you to give us anything. If you put your, the things in place, give us good roads, give us correct electricity, do you understand? Give us good infrastructure. Nigerians don't bother people. We, we, we actually love to get the job done and, you know, fend for ourselves. Some other, um, what's it called, N uh, countries in the world, any little thing like this, they, they have um, pain in their finger. They expect their government to come and cure the pain. They have headache. The government should come and cure the pain. Nigerians are not like that. Do you understand? Maybe because of what we've seen over the years. We don't demand for too much. So when, when we ask for things, right, government should at least have some level of conscience that these people are not demanding people. The people, all they just ask for are basic amenities. So can you do that for us? Give us the basic amenities and stop overtaxing us. Already, we are the ones that we are our own government. We will provide our road, yes, because some people have had to build their own roads themselves. We provide our power, right? We provide every single thing that we will use to live in the country. Provide our own food. And now, for every single opportunity you get as a government to give us multiple taxation, we're already paying taxes for goodness sake. There's already an annual levy for vehicles. That you pay every year. You must pay it to register your vehicle, to renew your license, right? So why do we need to now come and say we want to reprove to you that we own the car that we own? You as a government, have you proven to us anything, right? So we need to learn, we need to understand that this particular um, levy, whoever thought through, thought it through, you know, you didn't think it well because it's actually baseless. I already bought something. I have a receipt for it. And you now come back and tell me that you need to show me that you... I don't even... Like, it doesn't even make sense the way we are saying it. Mm -hmm. okay. I need to show... I, so I have to come back for you to issue me a receipt that you already given me before, before. To say that I still own the property. I didn't tell you that I sold it. Nothing happened. And that issue about tracking, it's not feasible. Because I know how much we pay... For car tracking, it's not feasible. 1,000 naira to track what? Vehicles that are, by the minute, people are stealing cars in this country. In two seconds, you can't find that car anymore. I say you want to track, track what vehicle? <laughs> when you have very porous borders, right? That a car is stolen. There was a day, a, a day right in front of where I was in Abuja. They just took a car. If not for the swift, because of course the person also knows how Notorious Abuja is for, so for stealing cars. So it was quick action. Do you know that by the time they found that car, they had, I think it was in Lokoja or something, mm. they had dismantled the car already. And they were going to sell it in parts. This is, that's how the syndicated, uh, what's it called, th car theft people, that's how they operate in Nigeria. So you're not telling me that uh, you, government, you've not been able to solve other problems. <laughs> you want to buy me find my car? Oh my God! It's a lack of em uh, empathy <laughs> for the common man that ah, actually. I just tired. Yeah, this you see this because two it, weeks it, break it, that we took. It, it, it was it, necessary. It was important it, because it, I don't know how we'll be able to cope with Nigerian matter. Because it's, it's every about, it's, it's one just, issue from the other. Every single day, there's one issue that is coming up. We are not see work anymore. Not to they charge people. Is it not just one thousand naira annually? If it's just one thousand naira annually, pay it on our behalf. Pay for anybody. Go ahead, oh, NJ. No, I'm just, no, you know, I buy into your pain. Ah. And it's, it's not even just your pain, it's everybody's pain. The, the lack of empathy from government is just, is just incredible, really. It's just, it's bewilding that <laughs> there's any word. Because you not thinking about the common man, and with the series of changes and challenges that we've been having in the last, since, um, the new administration was sworn into <laughs> power. See, we've been having back-to-back -back billings. And it's, it's affecting everyone. It's affecting food, transportation, everything. Everybody's asking for salary increment. We have one hour and the thing money. is that the, <laughs> there is no law that mandates that organizations 
based on the current challenges, are forced to do something about it. Yeah. So a lot of CEOs are sitting back and just watching because everybody's trying to save their funds. They are running a business, not an NGO. Yeah. So even before they make, they even need clarification and authority and proof to show that, okay, if we do this now, if we do this increase, we're looking at this kind of projection. Because yeah. you, as a business, you always have to consider such things. Like I said, you're not running an NGO. Yeah. So it's quite, you know, traumatizing that the government will just, lack the lack of empathy, like they'll just bill you this week, next week, transportation has increased. Before Tomorrow you is, is Okada they will face. And very soon, wheelbarrows will be paying. Ah, they go, they're already paying. We go are, to the market. And it's not, if it was even, it would have even been better if we had good roads. Then some of us would say, let's ride bicycle. I'm telling you. Yeah. I saw, you know, when this whole um, petrol uh, fuel increase, uh, you know, was in the news, or when it I started. I want to go and join Bikers Club. I saw a man on an electric bike, and I was like, that's the next place to go. Yeah. Not even anything. That's the next. You just park. When there's light, and it's you good power for it. Exercise. And when there's no I light, keep you ride it. I keep because fits. really, but that's the thing. There's no good road. So even mm. when you try to make adjustments to your lifestyle in order to fit into the current the cost, situation yeah. and manage your cost, the this, amenities available cannot accommodate it. Help. Absolutely. Let me come to you, Jennifer. Um, this is one of the reasons why I've never been in support of toll gates, right? Because, I mean, people keep saying, oh, there's a need for it. You're paying some part of taxing. But like, there's bad road everywhere, right? Even the Lekki toll that you talk about, the entire Lekki road, there are potholes everywhere. There's nothing good. So it's like, you want to tax us, but we're not seeing where that money is going into. I think that people would happily pay for taxes if we can see what our money is doing. If we can see what, hmm. we can see the work our money is being put into. We can have to see the results, right? We need to see that, oh, we're having good roads. We need to know that when rain falls, my area will not be flooded. Agongi will not be flooded. Surulere will not be flooded. I need to know that, oh, when I go on the road, we have clean drainage system everywhere. It's working. Things are working. There is... There's constant light. I mean, they're also increasing light bill. They said they want to put a pause on that one, but that one is not going to be long-lived, the pause. They will unpause it soon. So I, I, think, I think when the new administration came in, they, they said like, hmm, okay, time frame. Every month, something, we must hit these people with something. So money must leave your pocket. <laughs> so I think right now, eh, once they pay you, but I have a you question just have though. that at the back of your mind. Me, I have, money. my number plate is Abuja, it's not, it's not Lagos. Mm. Eh, where will I go and pay this? Eh? <laughs> hey, that I'm question. Sure they will that. Make, you know, because I normally renew my papers from Abuja anyway, mm, right? Yeah, they will probably be uh -huh. online. So, Lagos, they say since with. Lagos has resumed July 1st, I'm not entitled to pay it for that. I will wait till Abuja tells yeah, me yeah, that. that. Even if it, take, it takes effect <laughs> for new you know, ones that I should think that it takes effect for ones that have expired. So you want to renew. So when yeah, you want to renew, you pay that new. Okay. Because it, it wouldn't make sense if they tell everyone who go has paid. Yeah, no, 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 no. But I was going to say that I think for lack of um, ideas from the government, might I suggest some things for you to generate income, right? We already know, you, government, you know that your system is over bloated, Right? The salaries that your people and the allowances that they take, right? Let's go from your National Assembly all the way. You know, you know that those are avenues to actually save a lot of income for the people. I think you should try as much as possible to avoid these already agitated Nigerians. Because you see, it will get to a point where, you know, you, they chase goats. Go to the go, go, go. When it gets to a junction, it, there's nowhere to run to. It will turn back and bite you, right? So we are begging the federal government, right? Look within to generate this revenue. There are projects that you do. A project will cost a billionaire. Government will write $10 billion on that same project. You will not only write $10 billion, you will not complete that project. Mm. You will not only not complete that project, you will use inferior products on that project that would ensure that next year again, we'll revisit that project in the budget. 
So there are so many avenues in generating income and saving the already depleting income, right? 1,000 Naira to your citizens, you think it's small money, but it's not. Because what it is now, a lot of us are bleeding dry. A lot of Nigerians are not excited particularly about all this unnecessary multiple tax, taxes that we have to pay. So if for anything at all, if you really care about us as a people, you would avoid any further, what's it called, attack on our personal income. Because we don't have any income that is increasing. So it is the small whatever that we have. We're trying to buy expensive food. We're trying to buy expensive fuel. We're trying to buy expensive um, power, right? We're trying to pay so much to fix our cars that the roads that you create that damages the car on a month-on-month -on -month basis. So if there's anything that I would say to the government, look within in this drive for revenue because it is not, it is not, it is not sitting well with any Nigerian right now. We're already tired. You know, the local government council people will come. They will say they want to collect. The other day, Yabojo put up uh, how much they said they should, they should come and pay. You know, it, they will come to your businesses. They will come to your private, they come everywhere that they want to collect taxes for goodness sake. Where is the money now? Do we have comments, please? Um, Let's run off. Dear Waste Ladies, the planned annual renewal of proof of purchase of vehicles is a mischievous and a shady attempt to generate revenue for the government. The last government overborrowed, and an incoming government must tidy its books by any more. We should not be made to suffer for the financial recklessness of leaders. Nigerians should reject it in its totality. Thank goodness some lawyers are challenging it in court. Where will that end? Today is cars, tomorrow will be it's bikes and tricycles Absolutely. and even horses. Ah, where you have to you renew your goat, you will renew it. Where you have to renew <laughs> your proof of ownership of your house every year. Ah. The government should have a database of vehicle owners and should know current owners when they go for an annual MOT test. It's very sad that this government is putting off this nonsense, annual vehicle ownership vehicles. This shows that Nigeria is a criminal society that is run by heartless criminals. Ah, Santos, calm down. <laughs> Who I made mention of her experience on the bad road. We shouldn't be taking, talking about this uh, or complaining. If things are going on well and right, she, she, she's still made mention of the government being there for us if we need an important thing done of course without any shadow of doubt we nigerians are demanding we do not have any problem we are not like other countries let our government cooperate and make things available and easy for us my name is daniel Ilo, we is regular fan thank you so much ladies i think we've run out of time now before we go ensure you follow us across all social media handles at way show africa interact with us further drop a comment and more importantly Follow all our engagements on social media, like, share, and invite your families and friends to watch and follow the conversation. If you miss our course for today, here it is again. We believe that the POC will help track the real-time status and guarantee the integrity of all vehicles registered on the National Vehicle and Identification Scheme database. Um, this was from the Permanent Secretary of the Lagos State Government, Mr. Abdulhafiz Toriola. Now, we'll see you guys tomorrow at 8 p.m. as we bring another great conversation to your screen. Ciao. Bye.